to all this is a tutorial prepared for the feature of the big blue button and i will just show you how to you will in create a meeting in a big blue button platform actually big blue button is a add in which is provided under moodle platform through which you can make a virtual meetings and a conference so in the lov course dr nelly has given an option of big blue button and by clicking on this link you can directly enroll and she has provided as the space of big blue button testing platform where we all can schedule our sessions and the meeting so i'm just going to join a session over here and it will take to me take me to the big blue button platform so it's opening basically and it is asking me how would like to join so i'm joining the session if i want only want to listen the session i can listen only and i will just join it to asking for eco test and if it's okay then i have to click yes so this is the platform and you can see one of the other participant is also present here you can see the number of users here and uh, here is the public chat option we can chat publicly sending the messages fine and here is uh, uh, this one uh, is the welcome address from the big blue button and they are showing us the features of the chat webcams audio emojis and all so to start with so to start with you can see a plus icon here and if you click it on on that you can start a poll the polling option provide you the various options of the questions yes and no true false ab and different options and i can custom my poll that mean i can customize my own poll fine so in this through this you can start your polling another option in the icon is the upload a presentation right now here the current presentation is the default one of the big blue button if i want to upload my own presentation in the pdf or in the pptx form i can browse it from my files and upload here and i can confirm it fine and if you want to share any external video link then you have to click it on that it will ask for the url as i have opened up a video already i will just copy paste the link in my platform and i will see whether the videos is being shared you can see the video is coming here and is being shared with the other participants if possible so this is the video is playing through the platform fine if i want to stop the presentation video presentation i will stop the external presentation moving towards the options of other options of coming to the microphone i can unmute my mic and this is the calling of leaving the audio if i switch, want to switch on my camera it will go for my webcam and it will start sharing if i wish so if i start sharing my web camera then my video will appear over here on the top so here is the video so if i want to stop it i can stop it if i want to share my screen i will just go through this option and i will just start sharing so this is my screen basically coming and uh, you can see here the screen is coming and if i may change my tab over here different tabs over here so this is the my screen sharing going on i can stop the screen sharing option and coming back to the platform uh here i can see if one presentation is coming i can change the slides over from here if i wish fine or using the arrow keys of my uh laptop so these are the options of moving the slides and if i want to zoom out the presentation i can zoom in out zoom out zoom in the presentation if i want to fit into width i can fit into width and if i want to make the presentation whole i can make it and again i can zoom out so these are the various ways to 
make our your presentation more visible to the participant if i want to minimize it i can minimize it fine here here on the extreme right you can see the option of the white force suppose this is acting as a white board here my cursor is appearing if i am creating any blank screen over here you can see the cursor naming my name tag my name if i want to write anything on this one i can make out the text star option of text box and i can write the message over i can basically annotate if i want to change the font size i can change the font size if i want to change the color i can change if i want to undo it i can undo if i want to delete all the annotations i can clear all the annotations so this is basically a co-presenter can use even and uh, in case of a team teaching if you want another person to annotate on your slide they can moving up there are the options of making full screen there are the different settings option right now like there are the options of alerts or the pop-ups these are presently off and you can change the application language that means the language of the platform will be changed so you can see lots of languages are available that's very good so uh, i make making default and if i want to increase the font size i can increase and i can make the changes and the settings has been saved fine and if i go to about about this big blue button which is coming out when it is copyrighted and cliently like again on the detail and if i want to go for help it will pop out and take me to the help forms of big blue button if i want to use some shortcut like shortcut keyboard shortcuts are present and i can use that fine and uh, another one is the ending meeting and from logging out the meeting another option is if i want to start the recording it will also ask me to start the recording and i can record my this session through big blue button so this will be great like if and at the end they are asking me the feedback of the big blue button and i can provide the feedback suppose if i want to give the feedback if i don't want to give any feedback so it will leave the class so coming back to my this lob class and these are the features of big blue button and definitely the very good features are given over here and you should all use big blue button and in your embed in your moodle courses it will directly help you to interact with your students and the learners and uh, making the virtual meetings more visible and in a very truthful way